Hello and welcome to another video on circle theorems and in this video we're going to look at some problem solving type GCSE questions on this topic. Um, so I know this is quite a tricky topic for a lot of you so I think it will be good to get a lot of practice answering these type of questions. So before I go through any question I encourage you to pause the video at home and see if you can give the question a go first and then if you do get stuck resume the video and uh, look at how I've worked it out. So the first question says the diagram shows a cyclic quadrilateral, which just means a quadrilateral inscribed within a circle. Work out the value of y. So we've been given this angle here, well, an expression for this angle of y and an expression for this angle of 4y. Now, the key thing with this question is the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So we can write an expression for the sum of these two angles. So we can write y plus 4y equals 180 degrees. We know they have to add up to 180 degrees. And now we can just solve this equation. So y plus 4y, well, that will give us 5y equals 180 degrees. And therefore, y equals 180 divided by 5. So um, I think I can probably do that in my head. 5 into 18 goes three times with three remainder five goes into 36 times so it's exactly 36 degrees and that's what they're asking us for they're working asking us to work out the value of y or y is 36 degrees question two the diagram shows a circle center o and a b is a tangent work out the length of o b so this length here or this line is a tangent and we're trying to work out this length here o b now, the key with this question is the fact that we've got a tangent. So hopefully you know that a tangent always meets a radius at 90 degrees. So this will always be a right angle. And now we've got a right angle triangle and we've got two lengths. So we can work out the hypotenuse using Pythagoras' theorem. So we know that OB squared, so OB squared is equal to this squared plus this squared. So it's going to be... 5.2 squared plus 8.3 squared. So OB squared equals, and this will be on a calculator test. They're not going to ask you to do this non-calculator. So if I put that into a calculator, I get 95.93. And now to work out OB, we just need to square root our answer. So square root our answer, we get 9.79. And um, it doesn't say what to round it to. So I've just rounded it to two decimal places. So our answer is 9.79 centimetres. And that looks right because it should be the longest length. So it should be slightly longer than 8.3. Question three, A, C and D are points on the circle centred O. B, A and B, C are tangents to the circle. Work out the size of angle Y. So there's a bit more going on in this question. But the first thing I can see is we've got this angle, which is 47 degrees. Now, one of the circle theorems is that the angle at the circumference is twice the angle at the center. So let me just mark in the angle at the center. So this angle here, this is twice this angle here. So first of all, we can say that angle AOC, so let's do this in black. So a angle AOC, well, that's going to be two times 47 degrees well that's going to give us 94 degrees so this angle here is 94 degrees and we've also got two tangents we're told that BA and BC are tangents so we know that tangents meet radii at 90 degrees so these two angles are both 90 degrees now we've got three angles in this kite shape we can work out this final angle by just subtracting everything from a, uh, 360 degrees. Well, I know that these two angles add up to 180, so these two angles must also add up to 180. So if we just do 180 minus 94 degrees, well, that will give us 86 degrees. So this angle up here is 86. And now we've got this angle here, we can calculate y because y is just half of 86 degrees because these two angles are exactly the same. I could prove it to you by showing that these two triangles are similar triangles, but um, for the purposes of this question, I don't, we don't need to do that. So we can just uh, we can just um, state that these two angles are the same. 
So y is going to be 86 degrees divided by 2, which is 43. So our answer is 43 degrees. A, B, C and D are points on the circle centred O. X plus Y plus Z equals 290 degrees. Work out the values of X, Y and Z. Now I'm going to do my workings over here just because there's a bit not much room over here. So we've got a few different things going on here. We can see that these two angles, X and Y, they're related because Y is twice the size of X because angles at the centre are twice the angles at the circumference. And we can also see X and Z these two angles add up to 180 degrees because they are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. We've got this kite looking shape over here. So let's write both of those statements down. So X plus Z equals 180 degrees. And we can also say see that Y is 2 times X. So Y is 2X. So we've got Y in terms of X. We could also write z in terms of x. So if I make z the subject, I just need to rearrange this formula. I just need to subtract x from both sides. So z is going to be equal to 180 minus x. So now notice we've got both um, two, two equations, both in, um, with, in terms of x. One where z is the subject, one where y is the subject. So now we can just input these um, expressions for z and y into our equation. So over here we've got x plus y plus z equals 290 degrees. So we've got x plus y. Well instead of writing y we can write 2x and then plus z and instead of writing z we can write 180 minus x. So all of this must equal 290 degrees. And now we've just got an equation where we can solve it. So x plus 2x minus x, well that's just 2x. So we've got 2x plus 180 equals 290. Now we can subtract 180 from both sides. We're left with 2x is equal to 110. And now we just divide everything by 2, we get x is equal to 55 degrees. So we've worked out what x is. x is equal to 55 degrees. Now we can work out what y is because we said that y is two lots of x. So y is two times 55, which equals 110 degrees. Uh, and then finally, we know that x and y, uh, sorry, x and z add up to 180 degrees. So z is just gonna be 180 minus 55, and that gives us 125 degrees. So z is 125 degrees. W, Y, X and Z are points on the circumference of a circle center O. Z, X is a diameter over here. An angle Y, Z, X is 63 degrees, which we can already see. Work out the size of angle Z, W, Y. You must show your working, which may be on the diagram. So let's first of all just highlight the angle that we're trying to find. So Z, W, Y, Z, W, Y, that is this angle. So it is already shown angle we're trying to find. So the first thing we can see is we've got a diameter here. So we, any angle in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. So this angle here is 90 degrees. So we've got two angles in this triangle. We can work out this angle here just by subtracting these two angles from 180. So we can do 180 minus 90 minus 63. So this just gives us 90, take away 63, we get 27. So this angle here is 27 degrees. And now we can see that these two angles, they subtend the circumference at the same two points. So subtend is just a fancy way of saying touch, basically. So this angle here touches the circumference at these two points. This angle touches the circumference at the same two points. So these two angles are the same. So we can say that um, angle ZWY equals angle ZXY, ZXY, which equals 27 degrees. So we don't need to give a reason, but um, as long as we show our working out, so our answer is 27. 
In the diagram AB equals BC, which we can see by these two dashed lines, we need to prove that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, what is a cyclic quadrilateral? Well, it's a quadrilateral inscribed within a circle. So this quadrilateral would fit inside a circle where points A, B, C and D would touch the circumference of that circle. So how can we prove that something is a cyclic quadrilateral? Well, we know that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So this, these two angles, let's just highlight them. So this angle here and this angle here would have to add up to 180 degrees. And also this angle here, which we've already give, been given an expression for, and this angle here must also add up to 180 degrees. So first of all, we've got this triangle here, which is a, an isosceles triangle because these two side lengths are the same. So if this is X, we can say that this angle here must also be X. Now, what is this angle here? We can, we can work out and write an expression for this angle. So angle ABC, so angle ABC, well that must be 180 minus 2x, because the x plus x is 2, 2x, and they have to all add up to 180, so it's going to be 180 minus 2x. Now, hopefully you've spotted something, that if this is 180 minus 2x, and this is 2x, what do they add up to? Well, they add up to 180 degrees. So angle ABC plus angle, this angle ADC, ADC, well, that is going to be 180 minus 2x plus 2x, which equals 180 degrees. So we've just proved that these two angles add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, this, this quadrilateral must be inscribed within a circle and you might be saying well you need to also prove that these two angles add up to 180 degrees well they must do if these two angles add up to 180 degrees we know that they all add up to 360 degrees so 360 take away 180 is 180 so these two would by default add up to 180 degrees so if we just write a concluding statement we can say that a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral I'm just gonna put quad for short because not off op opposite opposite angles sum to 180 degrees and that's our proof okay a B C D and E are points on a circle BFD and AFC are straight lines. I know we're not talking about Arsenal Football Club for any football fans out there. And also we're told that DC equals DF. So these two line segments here are equal. We need to work out the size of angle X. So that's this angle here. Now there is quite a lot of information that we've been given. But what I can see here, we're told what this angle is. Uh, this angle is ang uh, 24 degrees. But this angle is exactly the same as this angle all the way over here. Now, how do I know that? Well, these two angles subtend the circumference at the same two points. So if we first, first focus on this angle, it touches the circumference at this point here and over here. But this angle also touches the circumference at these two points. So these two angles must be the same. So I can say that angle FDC so angle FDC is equal to 24 degrees, 24 degrees. And let's just pop that on our diagram. Now, these two line segments are equal, which is important because that means that these two angles over here are also equal. So we can calculate what these are because we know that all three angles add to 180 degrees. So let's just choose this one here. So angle, what can we say? That is angle DFC. So angle DFC, well, it's going to be 180 minus 24 and then divide by 2 because these two angles are the same. So let's just get our calculator out for that. So we've got 180 minus 24 and then divide by 2. And we get 78 degrees. 
So 78 degrees, so let's pop that in. 78, this is also 78. And now this here, AFC, so line Arsenal Football Club, it comes in very handy because we know the angles on this line add to 180. So we can write an equation out for this. So it's going to be x plus 2x plus 78. Well, that equals 180 degrees. And now we can just solve this equation. So x plus 2x, well, that will be 3x plus 78 equals 180. And now we can subtract 78 from both sides. We get 3x is equal to 102 degrees. And now we need to divide by 3. Well, I know that 3 times 33 is 99, so we need one more 3, so that's going to be 34. So x is equal to 34 degrees, and that is what we're asking, what it's asking us for. It says work out the size of angle x. Well, we've just calculated that x equals 34 degrees. Okay, this is going to be the last question in this video, but I've got loads and loads more circle theorem questions, so I will carry this over into a, another video. So here is a cyclic quadrilateral. The ratio of x to y is equal to 5 to 7. Work out the size of angle w. So first of all, if we focus on these angles here, x and y, we know that they sum to 180 degrees. So let's write that down. So x plus y is equal to 180 degrees. But we're also to told the ratio of those angles. So we can work out the size of those angles based on these ratios. So if we just um, add these together, so 5 plus 7 is 12. And now if we divide 180 by 12, so 180 over 12, well, that gives us 15. So we know that x has five parts and y has seven parts. So x is going to be... 5 times 15 and y is going to be 7 times 15. So you can get your calculator. I'll allow you to use calculators for this, but I think I can do it in my head. 5 times 15 or well, that will give us 75 degrees. And 7 times 15 or well, that will give us 105 degrees. And hey presto, they both sum to 180 degrees. So we should be quite confident that these are the correct angles for x and y. Now, this angle up here we can calculate what this angle is because it's x plus 20, but we already know what x is. So this angle up here, let's just call that, um, I don't know, let's call that z. So z is equal to x plus 20, so it's going to be 75 plus 20. Well, that will give us 95 degrees. And now we can use the same circle theorem of opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral adding to 180 to calculate w. So w is going to be 180 minus z, which we already know is 95. And 180 minus 95, well, that is 85. So w equals 85 degrees. And uh, we've got all of the space here, but you can see all of my workings are over here. So I'm going to leave it there for this video, but I am going to do one more video, which is just going to look at some really tricky grade nine questions on circle theorems. So hopefully this video was useful and it gave you a bit of practice, a bit more practice applying the circle theorems. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care.